God damn Azunium. Come on, man. Give it. Don't be like that. What about the third person? No. This last piece of Azunium doesn't let it go. So, I came back to the asteroids because I was out of Azunium. And I would like to make an army of droids back in Lotari. Uh, because there's a lot of stuff to to collect over there. But unfortunately, I don't have everything. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find Mercury back in Lotari. So, I'm heading out to Proteus to find myself Mercury and a few other resources that I know that Proteus has. And uh, on the way, luckily, I found this asteroid. So, I'm just collecting myself a little bit of. Azonium, which I'm probably gonna need. Yeah, I got a bit for the damn droids. So let's go back to Proteus. See how everything is doing. Now it's much easier to stop the ship because we can look around and see actually how far away from the from the target we are. And the good thing is we can stop the ship. We don't have to land on the asteroid like before. And the the ramp seems to be deploying. I haven't tried it, because now we are on 0 0.5013, I haven't tried if I can actually land again on the platform. I'm gonna have to try it sometime, but for now, let's go back to Proteus and get myself some more Chris and goodies. And there it is, the so-called murky area. Mercury area. So let's just throw it up. And this region usually gives me quite a bit. Nickel, mercury, magnesium. I might also try to, to collect a little bit more of those things. Let's see, I don't actually remember where the mercury is. Uh, let's see. I don't seem to be greeted by anybody right now, which is nice. But it's still glowy. As glow we can be. Kinda hurts the eyes, doesn't it? Well, I don't know if I said welcome to Osiris No Dawn, but welcome to Osiris No Dawn. And there they are, Twitchy as always. And now, even in the world, the, the ores seem a little bit different, so I believe that's magnesium over there. I think that's magnesium. What is this? Just box? And, uh, uh, yeah, look at it. It looks like the icon that we get in the inventory cool nice distinguishable easy to tell what it is what do you want you want you you look a little bit gray dude what the hell happened oh you're spitting joseph that's nasty did you have a bad lunch maybe that's it you should cut on the sugar dude uh let's see but they look grayer Maybe these are the new spitting dragons. Let's see what they got. Uh, trusty stone axe, definitely. A hatchling crab. Oh, it's a little one. Do you still grip crab meat? I do need some crab meat because my crab stew is kind of almost at 20. And uh, yeah, still a pain in the balls to collect these dudes, isn't it? Uh, what's left? Nothing. Nice. Let's see the other. Oh, he's a little guy. Nasty. Do you spit too? Did you guys went to the same restaurant? Oh man, that was fast. This cobalt uh, bolt rifle is just a shit. A hatchling snuff. So I, I guess they reworked all the all the aliens. At least I mean all. I, mean, I don't know about all. Unknown larvae snubs. So you're kind of reproducing right now. You you're making little snubbies. Nice. But this hatching crab monster, I don't know. It, yeah, it didn't take any health away from me. Maybe it just missed. But it definitely spit some stuff. Because I read on the patch notes and now a few enemies actually throw projectiles towards our way. Which is kind of nice. Because, I mean, our movement isn't too bad. We, we should be able to avoid some projectiles, right? If, if our movement was much slower, I think that would be kind of a, a dick move. But not really. Oh! So this is how Mercury looks. It does have that bluish and red color. But uh, maybe not with the stone axe. Maybe getting again my trusty diamond chisel. Which should require a nice fix anytime soon. This was uh, what I was actually down on. 
the mercury because I needed to make the forge and uh, you know if I knew all the recipes by heart maybe I wouldn't need to do all the benches and collect all the resources but uh, since I don't know them by heart I have to keep going to the menu to see what it takes I kind of prefer to make a, a full oh really there you go Susan how about that do you like it I have some for you if you want uh... oh another one Jesus let's try to use I don't have uh, watch things oh be god damn I, I kind of felt sorry for them this just alien tissue so it's only the big ones they give uh, the nice meat the nice crab meat but I also need the normal meat too so I think the crab meat the crab stew actually takes both so that's pretty cool and there it is luckily the magnesium still in the same spot just a different uh, texture and color which is nice so let's just grab a little bit more of this I'm probably gonna head over to the silver area which is just around the corner and probably also a little bit more gold but then again gold I can get in Lutari I do have my molybdenum but let's bring a little bit more uh, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna go back and focus on the mercury because I don't know if there's mercury in Lutari and I wanna, don't wanna spend too much time just walking around like a, like a lunatic because I still don't have uh, vehicles over there once I have the vehicles it will be much better to actually check out the planet and see what it has but let's grab myself a little bit more mercury and then just uh, take a look at what I got and figure out if I can actually go back to Lotari and start doing some shit over there I wanted you know I actually had three stacks of mercury back at home Jesus so let's bring also the tungsten the zirconium uh, I'm gonna leave the diamonds because I can get it there I can get the obsidian there the silver I think I'm gonna bring what else did I have here that I didn't need to go get chromium let's bring some chromium I don't think I have it uranium I do have cobalt and zinc but let's bring one more stack of each and some more molybdenum and so far a more tin okay I also need some iron let's see if I got okay copper I'm probably gonna need plutonium let's leave it uh, here titanium lithium I do collect I have collected a little bit more nickel so yeah I think we got on nickel here let's uh, okay fine nothing how good is that maybe I should have dropped some stuff here so I'm gonna try to do the forge over there and I can do plutonium and magnesium and uranium hmm I'm also needing some batteries so I'm gonna do the batteries right now because I still don't have the fabricator so I'm gonna do as much batteries as I can 50, uh, 49 yeah that's all the lithium nice I should have some more and I do I do have more over there too so let's just bring another stack let's go inside and uh, see if I can do a few more crab mates so what does the crab stew take where the hell's the crab stew meat stew I meant no it's not the meat stew it's the crab stew there it is I do have to make the crab stew the crabs the meat stew I mean all oh, the names man it's all stews I get confused so the water I just have to grab myself some buckets like these ones and grab the, myself the water from outside so let's just grab potatoes and carrots I do have meat stews here so let's just crank up a few more crab stews seven more how about that what am I lacking I'm lacking the crab meat so I'm not gonna be able to do any more that's all I had so let's just leave the meat stews and this good stuff nice emergency ration okay that's pretty good uh, I'm actually gonna bring a few of these buckets or these bottles or what the hell they called and let's fix this these instruments right here can I drink I'm full yeah of course I am uh, what was I doing oh yeah repair these things repair table 
So let's just, let's see. Steel doesn't take anything, which is nice. So let's just repair everything. Why not? Put it all to 100%. It doesn't seem to have a limit to how many repairs I can do. I don't have any hydrogen canisters, so I'm also gonna leave the hydrogen torch right here. And uh, I mean, just a cobalt rifle and the uh, the the bolt rifle should be enough. But uh, maybe I could take another another weapon. What would be a good choice? I don't know. Do I have plenty of ammo? Yeah, I still got plenty of ammo. I don't think... Yeah, I got more here. Uh, I actually don't think I'm gonna bring another. I just used this extra slot for the mechanical spanner. That's pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do... Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring a few of these... I already have five, I don't think I need any more, because there's an upgrade for the furnace that requires these propellant tanks, and I'm gonna try to do it. Uh, I'm just thinking, should I bring soil? I have ten over there. But uh, it seems like I don't have any more here. Because maybe a farm, uh, do I need really a farm? I mean, I got like a, a crab meat, crab stews. Yeah, I don't, I don't really need it, do I? I don't think so. So let's see what we were cooking before. We were cooking this thing. I think they can stay, they don't spoil. Uh, so that's pretty much it, I think. Let's see. Let's check out, take a look at the recipes. Because I'm gonna have to do the forge, and all I was missing was the mercury. So I got the mercury. Oh yeah, the batteries. I was almost forgetting about the batteries. I don't remember what they take, but let's take a look. Batteries. Plastic and white gold. Yeah, the plastic is a bitch. The plastic is a bitch because I'm gonna have to collect some of that hydrocarbon solution. And let... yeah. Gonna have to do a bunch of plastic. Let's see. Oh, I got something here. It says 8%. Oh, it's only one bottle. Empty one. Is this thing full? No, it's not. This, I believe, is hydrazine. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to go around and collect some more of that hydrocarbon solution. Now, I, I figure it must be in the same spots where the methane was. It's just replaced the name, I think. So let's just grab... Do I have lead? I don't have any lead. Yeah, so let's just put this stuff back on the ship. Uh, pork everything away, what I don't need right now. I'm gonna grab myself a couple, a, a few, a couple, more, more than a couple, uh, a couple couples, a bunch of couples of bottles, and then go get myself some hydrocarbon solution. Uh, I don't need a plant fiber, the azuni. Yeah, I got ten soil on me. There you go. I'm gonna put this thing right here already because I'm gonna need it. The power cells. Well, maybe I should try to do all the batteries that I do right here, but I'm gonna have to save some power cells because I think I'm also gonna need them. The, the things I don't need right now. So there you go. That's the plan for now. Go get a bunch of hydrocarbon solution. The, the hydrogen is not a problem. I can do the rubber over there. I just have to see what I need for the game station. Yeah, power cells, white gold. What? What is white gold made of? White gold, gold, nickel, and silver. That's actually pretty a little bit expensive because, you know, silver, nickel, and gold sometimes are kind of hard to get. But I believe I have all three, so it should be good. Uh, let's just check titanium. Yeah, I got all zinc, copper. Yeah, tin, magnesium. Yep, I can do all of this. Believe in them. Sure, nice. Scrap plastic. Another option that I could do, which actually won't give me a lot, is just going around through the destroyed habitations and do and grabbing myself. Yeah, three. I don't know. I, I'm gonna bring more. Yeah, I'm gonna bring more. Through the destroyed habitations and actually. Uh, the thing is, do I have to craft the hydrocarbon solution? Maybe I have to craft it. 
Hmm. Let's see. Let's. Do I have any? No, there's only that storage. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I have to grab the hydrocarbon solution. No, well, it doesn't say here, so I figure it must be the the old methane. Okay, so let's get some methane. So here's the plan. I'm gonna get into the buggy, and I'm gonna climb all over that, and you're gonna try to jump into the buggy. Okay? Okay, let's give it a go then. Oh, almost. Come on, jump into it. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, man. You're really stuck, aren't you? And the buggy sees the target. Let's go for a punt. There you go. Very good punt. Can I climb it over the rock? Oh yeah, that was a good punt. Very nice. So I came to the B spot and I hear the droid working. There he is. <laughs> Another cool thing that I could do just to get myself from more bottles is just empty out these water ones. But I found a few, a few wires and stuff. Let's see if I can get a little bit more. Plastic, nice. And wires. This one is empty. Plastic, nice. That dude works 24-7. It's just amazing. I th that's the ones that I want for Lotari, you know. Imagine having a variety of those dudes. Oh, Jesus. Lotari will not stand a chance. <laughs> It'll be just completely depleted, depleted in a couple hours. So, yeah, I'm just uh, picking and choosing what I need right now. Let's just bring a little bit more of this. Let's take out the blueprint. And, uh... Yeah, man, he doesn't stop. Still stuck. Yeah, both of them. Yep, they haven't... Yeah, nothing. The, one, the other one is still guarding the post. Yeah. <laughs> I know, man, I know. So, yeah rock let's drop the rock you don't need the rock give me some aluminum cobalt a little bit of everything why not yeah man they're they're pretty much a joke Re really really you're still in charge still in charge okay so now what's left it's to actually see if the old methane is the new hydrocarbon solution there it is it is but it still says extract methane uh, yeah, maybe they should work a little bit on this part. I don't know. <laughs> Which one is it, dudes? Uh, okay. It's it's something to make plastic. So let's just grab it all. Do I have any more? Yeah, nice. Good thing I emptied out those uh, water bottles. And uh, look at me. I'm shrinking. I'm shrinking. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the kids. Uh, there you go. Just one more. Oh yeah, nice. So, let's see how much plastic I can actually do with this, because uh, I don't know if there are any, any hydrocarbon solution lakes in Lutari. No, guys, there are. But I didn't read anything on the pattern saying about lakes. So, yo, I wish I brought the... Uh, this buggy is not too bad, but uh, the hover bike is still the best one. Is still the best one, much faster to overcome all these obstacles. And the only thing left is the lead. So the, I, I, there are there is lead in the world, but I'm right next to this mine. And uh, if my memory serves me right, I think this is the one where I find lead. Let's see, because I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it is the the other one. Yeah, it's the other one. I'm not even going any further. This is the one where we find the diamond. Uh, yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's go to the to the other one. And let me just check. Did it say better mine? Yeah. Look at that. They brought back the old name. It says better mine again. So I wonder if the other one says alpha mine. Alpha mine it is. So it's pretty cool that they brought the old names because they're actually in the same spot that they used to be. It just looks a little bit different, but it's still the bloodleaf for forest next to this mine. So yeah, this is the place for the lead, I think. It's just easier. I think it's the best spot to get lead is some silver. And uh, oh boy, there's a lot of... Oh, no, thank... Oh, Jesus, you too? Goddamn. 
You guys are covering away from the... And you're black, man. Why are you black? Jesus. An armored skilly pot. Oh, there's armor. Oh, no, that's green one. What the hell? You guys evolved while I was away. <laughs> there's a whole new set of animals in here. Away from the rest of the world. And yeah, this one is man. Oh. This is the old Gnat, I think. The shoulder guy. Hey, the shoulder guy is still here, dudes. Oh boy. That's nasty because he's fast. Jesus. That's quite a battle. I like it. A little bit more challenging. And I don't know why it was making a different sound. So that's an armored one. And what about the green one? These are... Oh. A larvar... And the green one is... A poisonous skeleton. Oh, it's gonna poison me. Pretty cool. And this is still an arachnoid. Nice. Let's see what they give. Something good. Yeah, alien tissue. And alien tissue. And what about you? Alien tissue. The little one. It just disappeared. And the armor. Alien tissue. That was lovely. Luckily, the lady is still here. Kind of looks like... Uh, an elephant came by here, and he was kind of sick. Uh, yeah, but it's light all right. It's not black, it's gray now. And uh, is it silver? Oh yeah, so the resources are still in the same spots, at least. What I've been finding so far, it doesn't seem to have been uh, moved to a different spot. They seem to be in the same place. So this, this mine, the alpha, is very good to get lead and some silver. So I'm just gonna grab myself a little bit and I should have everything to do the plastic. Which seems to be like the next step. I got the mercury, I should be able to do the forge when I go back there. But after the episode is done, I'm probably gonna go around and uh, do another grind run. Just filling myself up so that I know that when I start building other things because as far as I remember, I'm gonna need this lead also to do the laboratory walls. And it takes quite a bit of resources, not only to do the laboratory, but the walls themselves. And it's something like six walls. So, yeah, let's see. Because what I really like is to get the laboratory there. But I still have to do the large satellite dish. Yeah, I don't need cobalt right now. And there's also mercury in here, right? Silver and mercury. Yeah, it's still the same. Uh, but there you have it. I think I should have all the resources that I need right now to get going. Just gonna do a few batteries. That's what, the only thing I, I remember that, I, that I'm missing. And I hope this is the way. Yeah, there it is. And then I don't have to worry about the geysers, the gases. I can get them there. So that's pretty much it. So let's go back home, crank up some plastic and get ready to roll. This is uranium. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring uranium. I don't think I need it. I need it to plutonium, but I don't even remember why I need the plutonium for. I needed, I needed plutonium. Hey, I saw a box over there, but okay. For the space station, a few parts required plutonium. But, anything, but other than that, I'm not sure if I'm going to need it. If I do, well, I can always come back. That's fine. And uh, there you go, the T-5000 still in his post. He's very respectful of the chain of command. I like that about the robots. Um, plastic. I'm missing the sulfur. Of course I am. There you go, a hundred for you. How about that? So crank up as much plastic as you can, dude. 50 of it. Uh, and I'll also see if it's still a uh, 32 stack. Let's do the other things. Like the wires and... Uh, what else? The rubber. I think it's in the furnace. And I can do a little bit more plastic and some more rubber. Nice. I just didn't find any glass. Yeah, not enough sand. But there you go. So, I needed lead for the batteries. I should still have the other things, I believe. Let's see if I can do some batteries. 
and just call it a day. No, I need the plastic and the white gold, of course. <laughs> I was making the plastic for something, dude. It wasn't just uh, because I just like plastic. And, uh, yeah. There are the, the things, and... Uh, what the hell was was the other thing? I don't remember. God damn it. The white gold. Of course the white gold. Why wouldn't it be the white gold? We need white gold. Lonsolate. Do I have Lonsolate? Oh, motherfucking Lonsolate. I'm gonna have to go grab myself Lonsolate. But I'm gonna call this episode here. Because a lot has has been done, but still a lot more to do. So after this, I'm gonna go back to Lotari and uh, do a proper base over there and start building myself a nice drone army to just empty out Lotari of every resource it has. But for now, thank you for watching, and until next time.